Hello everyone. Today I'll show you the easiest way of making these 3D figurines using 3D AI Studio as it allows us to do everything in one place. It all starts in the Image Studio. Here we will be using the Prompt Crafter in order to make our perfect prompt. I already have an image in the style that I'm looking for, so let's use the image to prompt mode. Let's click Generate Prompt and see what result we're going to get. Okay, now that we have our prompt, let's edit it using the Additional Instructions panel. We will tell the Prompt Crafter to use a hot chili pepper instead of a grape as the character, but to keep everything else the same. You can redo this part as many times as you want, specifying any changes that you want to see. For this example, however, this final prompt will work well enough. After clicking the Use button, it will load the prompt into text-to-image. Here you can just copy my settings or experiment yourself. I'm going to generate some images and play with the settings until I find something that I like. Now that we have our desired result, let's use the Load into Image to 3D option. Once again, you can simply copy my settings or try playing with them yourself. Once you're ready, hit Generate 3D Model and wait. Great, we now have our 3D model textured with PBR maps. Let's inspect it. Looks all good, let's remesh it now. If you are going to 3D print it or use it for renders, you can skip this step. You should adapt these settings to match the game engine or application you're using. Once everything is configured, start the remesh. When it's done, open the remesh from the dashboard and download it. I'll show you how to use it in Blender. Once you're in Blender, you want to go to File, Import, then GLTF 2.0 in our case. Find your file, then click Import. There we go. Now let's change the viewport shading to see our model better. I'll go into edit mode to fix some of the geometry and convert it from triangles to quads.
first let's run a merge by distance with a very small threshold to combine any overlapping vertices. We can now run the triangles to quads command in order to convert all the triangles into quads so that the model will be easier to work with. Make sure to turn on the compare UVs checkbox in order to fix any texture problems that may arise. Congrats! You can now use your 3D figurine for whatever purpose you have in mind.